Resident Evil 4. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Now, having just rescued Ashley, we will need to be doubling back on ourselves to collect various items I talked about about four videos ago in the series. And uh, you'd think the the trip back would be uneventful, but it's not. Surprised me the first time I ran into this room and... Oh my god, there are more enemies! But they're easy to dispatch. Nothing too consequential. And more magnum ammo, which is always good. Because it's all a big plan to get ahead. Ah, bugger. Ah, if I'm correct. Ah, there he is. Still one guy around, is there? Yes, there is. Evidently, that sniper rifle did nothing. I think that's the extent of all the enemies you will encounter when you backtrack. So you want to go and take this route, which I showed you... Um, I think it was in the last set of videos I did, I can't remember. But it's very important to manage your inventory correctly at this point in the game and to do the free rocket launcher I showed you a few videos back and to do this. Now, is it this one I want to go? Yes, I want to go outside this way. Now, I can't remember if there are enemies that have respawned here or not. I don't think there are. Nope. So just bring over, come over here, and you want to um, get to a point where you can piggyback with Ashley. There we go. And here we go. Four treasure chests worth of stuff. Huzzah. And probably the greatest, one of the greatest treasures ever. A broken butterfly. Woo! And of course, the perfume for gold. So yeah, this is, uh, this is this. I started ranting about this a long time ago um, in regards to uh, a strategy that I like to use for inventory management and general good times throughout the game is that you buy a broken butterfly and you begin upgrading it which will be the one I have here um, and of course this is a, the new edition and it has six extra shots at, I think, 13 damage apiece. And later on, there is this particular section where that will be invaluable. And you will hold on to both of them. Though, never reload this one in favor of the one you've already started upgrading. Um, always reload that because you should have also upgraded the reload times on that weapon as well because the strategy in using the broken butterfly is knowing how to reload and when to reload since it takes three seconds upwards for an un, uh, 
for a non-upgraded gun. Why is she not following me, bitch? <laughs> um, that's wasting my time. Uh, and yeah, like, in combat, you don't want to be wasting three seconds when powerful enemies are closing in on you. Why are you still in this room? Follow me. So yeah, now you've got two broken butterflies um, and a sizable amount of magnum ammo. Nine extra shots, so... You'll be sweet for some boss battles coming up. I mean, it's up to you how you use your magnum ammo. I'm just... There is a certain strategy that is definitely worth your while later on in the game that you will want both of the uh, Broken Butterflies for. So yes, now that we're done with that little detour, we need to get back on track and continue with the story. And you may as well sell the elegant perfume bottle and stuff whilst you're here. There's nothing really worth upgrading at this point, so we'll move on. Okay. Now I know which direction I'm meant to be heading. So we'll have a little bit of an explore. Now this bit's kind of interesting. It's uh, kind of an annoying section. Another one. Surprise, surprise. And I really should have saved it here, but never mind. And we get to leave Ashley behind again. Yay! Wait here. That's cool, she's safe. She's standing right next to a save point, so she's okay. And this is pretty much just a section to remind you about fire safety practices. quick, you can go like that. And that's pretty much the one easy one you will get. All of the rest of these you will have to fight for. I don't know if it's actually possible to fall in in this section, but it's not recommended. Yeah, watch out for that, because you will end up wasting your life. Smart thing would have been to, uh... Shoot that guy. Shoot both those guys from the rotating dies with your sniper rifle or some such before leaping over. Um, this guy is, of course, difficult to kill. I would recommend a healthy dose of TMP because all you have to do is knock him off simple but nothing's ever that simple unfortunately mm -hmm. 